Okay, let's open up the application. So we can come in here and select the molecule. Now, my joke here when the molecule renders in 3D is that for all I know we could be looking at a beer molecule. So what, what the heck are we looking at? Uh, so this, uh, as far as I understand, is a protein that sits on the surface of a human cell. The, uh, the cell wall kind of is, is in this region here and this provides uh, an opening here. Uh, this um, protein is um, of interest in relation to uh, beta blocker drugs. So if I turn on additional molecules, we see one molecule in here that is actually a, a beta blocker. So a scientist might research how it interacts with this, the other geometry in this area. So I might look at it right here as a, a sort of cartoon rendering. Um, I could change it to um, mode we're reviewing each atom. It doesn't make sense to me, but to a scientist, uh, they would understand the geometry of how this um, relates to the different... Now, can you zoom back out on this thing just to show that, hey, you know, the, the power of WPF on the actual surface device. You can see that's quite a complex molecule, and WPF is doing quite a good job in 3D. Uh, would, wouldn't you argue yes? I would. Actually, the performance is, is very reasonable on this. So uh, another thing I point out is along the top, uh, we have a, a list of all the amino acids that encode this protein. Uh, so the, your DNA ha has a sequence of, the, um, uh, of encoded amino acids that, that wrap up and generate the protein. So if we look at, you can see that it's sort of one continuous strand uh, of amino acids that, that, curve, that wraps up into a, a particular geometry. Uh, and so in this model here, I can come up here and select particular ones. You can see the selection down here. Right. And this is, the, I can also select through... Um, you can select with your fingers or you can select through the control of the amino acids on top. I right. get it. Very nice. And we can take a quick look at a... Uh, this is a very large protein. This is a smaller one with a simpler geometry. Here the performance is even better. And it's surface, so you could be rotating while I'm spinning, you know, because it's multi-user input. It's one of the beautiful things about surface. And there's different coloring modes. So here we're viewing the temperature. And all these mean something to scientists, these different coloring modes. Right, it's so the microscopic level temperature is essentially how fast something's wiggling. So you can see how uh, the lighter areas over here <laughs> More, less rigid and the darker areas are more rigid. It's kind of interesting. That is just awesome. Okay, Kevin, thanks so much for the demo. Very cool. Thanks.